up on Ag Week TV. Harvest pushes forward around the region. Hunters need to keep a close eye for field fires this hunting season. We look at how to keep farms safer as we age. And a Minnesota farm offers up some fall family fun. Welcome to Ag Week TV, I'm Emily Beal. Farming is a dangerous job, and even more so as farmers age. In this week's Ag Week cover story, Jenny Schleck talks to some experts about staying safe on the farm. Our agriculture industry in North Dakota is definitely uh, on, on the older side, right? But not just North Dakota. Census Bureau data shows the average age of American farmers is 58. About half of the people living in the Dakotas and Montana who are 65 years and older live in rural areas. It stands to reason many of them are living on farms. These numbers aren't going down, which means we really got to focus on, on fall prevention. Angie Johnson, the NDSU Extension Farm and Ranch Safety Coordinator, says it's never too early to practice safety on the farm. How do we climb in and out of our equipment safely using three points of contact at all time and, and climbing in the tractor and, and exiting the tractor the same way, as well as fall protection when it comes to climbing on grain bins. So really, how do we start those habits early in life? NDSU and U of M Extension have a grant from the Upper Midwest Ag Safety and Health Center to spread the word about keeping older people safer on the farm. We know that falls are a big cause of, you know, sending people to assisted living. Um, falls can be fatal for people of certain ages as well. U of M Extension educator Emily Kreckelberg and Johnson took their aging on the farm presentation to farm shows over the summer, sharing some simple and inexpensive fixes like vision and ear protection, handrails, and textured floor stickers to prevent slips and falls. We're really focused on just those simple fixes that folks can make to make their farm that much safer for everybody there. Johnson and Kreckelberg say it's important to be good safety role models for younger generations and to have those hard safety conversations with parents and grandparents the earlier the better. In Fargo, this is Jenny Schlecht for Ag Week. You can read more in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com. Corn harvest is wrapping up for many growers around the region. Dana Allen Tully and her family run a dairy operation and raise corn and soybeans in Iota, Minnesota. This week, they hosted Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan and Ag Commissioner Tom Peterson to check out the harvest. She says conditions were much better this year than last year during their drought. But she says growers still aren't making up the difference in price with increased bushel. Talking to other growers around the state, you know, they're not in the same situation as what we are. So not just do we have a, a price loss, um, but they're facing a yield loss as well. Alan Tolley says it's important to get a new farm bill passed with improvements to crop insurance. Winter wheat planting progress is on pace with last year, according to the October 20th South Dakota Crop Progress Report. While the official acres planted report won't be released until January, Cody Hostler, owner and manager of Sioux Nation LLC in Fort Pierce, South Dakota, says acres planted in central South Dakota are down from last year. This is something that is reflected in winter wheat seed sales. Crop rotation schedule and weather are factors. We were really wet this spring, but now we are quite a bit drier. So we actually had some guys that have stopped planting right now. It just got too dry. It was kind of the main reason why everybody didn't plan as much. Hostler says moisture will be a key to a good winter wheat crop. He is hoping for some winter moisture and some fall rains to get the winter wheat started. Up next on Ag Week TV, South Dakota is working to boost 4-H membership. Are Peterson Farm Seed Reps real-life seed heroes? Well, they've been known to go the extra mile, literally thousands of extra miles every year. And when they're not driving gravel roads, they're out walking fields and sampling soil. When time is the enemy, they're there to save what's left of the day. Are all Peterson Farm Seed Reps seed heroes? I guess that's a yes. Peterson Farm Seed, we're that kind of seed company. There's no easy button. No guarantees or promises of a good year. This is farming. It's unpredictable and demanding. 
with long days and sometimes stressful nights. It's weathering the storms and coming out successful. Farming isn't for everyone. We thank those who make it their life because it is for everyone. Introducing the all-new Vatterstadt Temple K24, designed and built in the U.S. It combines capacity with superior precision, even at very high speeds. With power shoot technology that uses positive air pressure to take full control of the seed from the meter all the way down to the soil, using no belts, motors, or brushes. Start your journey to outstanding emergence. Pre-order your Temple K today. Integrity, excellence, teamwork. At Titan Machinery, we take care of our team. Whether you are an experienced technician or looking to start your career, Titan has a spot for you. Earn a competitive pay with the potential to make in excess of six figures. Service techs, come grow with a company that invests in you. Titan Machinery offers company HSA and 401k contributions, free single healthcare and a generous tool allowance. Plus, we'll provide all of your uniform and safety gear. Apply today at titanmachinery.com careers. We started with a raw piece of ground out here and we put in bins and then we started coming in with the leg and dryer system and threw in a pit. The process with working with them has been very simple. It was a one-stop shop. Go there. We came up with a plan together and they have been executing it flawlessly. I am Brian Hoffman and I highly recommend using Advanced Green out of Mayville, North Dakota. As cattle weaning is happening across the region, there are several things producers should be aware of. As Kennedy Tesh reports, it can be beneficial to consult a veterinarian to reduce stress and ensure a healthy herd. We're about to get into our busiest three and a half, four weeks. It happens every year at this time. Cattle weaning. Fritz Storn is the practice manager for Western Veterinary Services in Kadoka and Phillips, South Dakota. He says producers are getting their cattle ready to sell in late October and early November. Most guys have gotten their beef heifers preg checked uh, and are just getting onto their beef cows. They usually like to time that at the same time that they're weaning off the calves so they can just uh, work all the cattle at the same time. Vet Heather Osnes tells her clients at Oahe Veterinary Clinic in Fort Pierce, South Dakota, that it's important to have the vaccine protocol in place from the beginning to ensure healthy cattle later. A lot of our producers will be using um, a five-way respiratory vaccine um, to combat some of the pneumonias you might see at weaning time. Um, then they're also going to go ahead and give a seven-way um, to help combat some of those clostridial infections that we may have, black leg, that type of stuff. Veterinarian Brock Mock advises producers to work with their vet and nutritionist to make sure their mineral status is good and to keep their cattle healthy heading into winter. And, you know, if there's new ways out there that we can go about um, weaning those calves more efficiently um, with less stress, um, that's going to add pounds to your weaning weight later on. You know, the less stress that you have going into weaning, um, the better those calves are going to turn out. In Kadoka and Fort Pierce, South Dakota, this is Kennedy Tesh for Ag Week. Austinus also recommends using pheromones on cattle to reduce stress on the calves while they're weaned. Pheasant hunting season is underway in South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa. While bird numbers are looking exceptional in South Dakota this year, there is one big concern this hunting season, field fires. The year was shaping really well because we had good, good spring rains that led to good nesting cover, good brood rearing cover, but then we kind of got dry here these last couple weeks, these last six, eight weeks, they've been pretty dry. And so because of those conditions, we just want to really remind hunters to be mindful when they're out in the field. While there are many ways fires can start, vehicles are the biggest cause of hunting fires. It's important to be mindful of the vehicle's temperature when parking on vegetation. One way landowners can help is by having a designated parking area. There's still some green around, but even that green stuff is drying up to burn right now. Hunters are encouraged to carry a large jug of water, a shovel, or sandbags to extinguish fires. Haskell asked that hunters try to get the small fires out quickly on their own, especially if they're in a rural area where it will take a volunteer firefighter to get to the scene. During the pandemic, 4-H enrollment decreased, but now it's back on the rise. Ariana Schumacher explains how the program's enrollment has fluctuated over the years. 
We're one of the most uh, popular things for young people to do in South Dakota. Last year, South Dakota 4-H reached 29% of all kids in the state. To put that in perspective, uh, National 4-H has a goal that will get to 20% um, here in the next few years nationwide. In Hughes and Stanley counties, Prairie Winds 4-H has seven active clubs and four affiliate clubs. While numbers are up this year, they're still lower than years before. We don't have the farmers and ranchers with those bigger farms and their families have gotten where they go off the, the, the ranch or farm. Houston said there will be some challenges getting the 4-H numbers back to where they were decades ago. They're having to make choices between whether they want to be in sports, 4-H, their jobs. But 4-H is finding ways to reach more kids. It's not just for the kids that have animals. A lot of the kids do photography, visual arts, home environment. And I try to encourage those youth that are in shop, wood science, tech classes, art, that they can use those projects in their 4-H achievement days. In Fort Pierce, South Dakota, this is Ariana Schumacher for Ag Week. If you'd like to enroll your kid in 4-H, reach out to your local 4-H office. Ahead on Ag Week TV, sugar beet harvest is wrapping up in the region. Storage Pros and MinDAC Containers are your premier suppliers of shipping containers, servicing all of North Dakota and Minnesota. From 10 to 53 feet, new and used units, we have your storage solution. Pick up your unit or have it delivered. Call Mike or Jake today. There's no easy button, no guarantees, or promises of a good year. This is farming. It's unpredictable and demanding with long days and sometimes stressful nights. It's weathering the storms and coming out successful. Farming isn't for everyone. We thank those who make it their life because it is for everyone. We offer the full lineup of brand products. Big ones are gonna be your conveyors, your land rollers, grain cars, high-speed discs. Those are gonna be the very popular ones that we see out in the countryside and we like to have on hand here at all times. Brand does a really good job of supporting the products and providing the, the parts on time and when you need them. For a full line of brand products, give us a call at 701-361-4790 or visit our website at northstar-ag.com. Add more bushels to your hopper and money to your pocket by harnessing the power of air with Crary Wind Systems. Whether your beans are chest high or barely off the ground, Crary offers two solutions that add a constant stream of high velocity air to quickly feed crop back to the auger, eliminating bunching, reducing shatter loss, and increasing your ground speed. Don't let crop conditions dictate your yield. Check out the Crary Air Reel or Crary Wind System today. Introducing the all-new Vatterstadt Temple K24, designed and built in the U.S. It combines capacity with superior precision, even at very high speeds. With parachute technology that uses positive air pressure to take full control of the seed from the meter all the way down to the soil, using no belts, motors, or brushes. Start your journey to outstanding emergence. Pre-order your Temple K today. Storage Pros and MinDAC Containers are your premier suppliers of shipping containers, servicing all of North Dakota and Minnesota. From 10 to 53 feet, new and used units, we have your storage solution. Pick up your unit or have it delivered. Call Mike or Jake today. Ag Week weather is sponsored by Bremer Bank. Connect with a banker today at bremer.com. Will this favorable weather continue? Here's John with our AccraWeather Outlook. The weather always gets a little colder across the northern plains, the southern part of Canada, the upper Midwest as we get into November. It is, after all, the time of the year where fall and sometimes early winter really begins to kick in. We just lose, we, we are so much near the nadir of the year, right? We're almost to the winter solstice. There just isn't that much energy in the sun. Still a little lingering heat left over in the uh, water cycle that keeps things uh, a little bit milder. And of course, across so much of the United States, States, this has been a very warm fall. Well, 
it looks like it's about to begin turning, not reversing. I don't see an abnormally cold pattern. I see November moving toward more average weather and also moving toward wetter weather, especially in some of the areas that have been quite dry. There's going to be some opportunity for some fall replenishing moisture in through parts of the northern plains and the western part of the Corn Belt as we get into November before we get into winter freeze up, which would be very helpful for agricultural purposes, but not necessarily helpful for finishing up the corn harvest. We start off this uh First week of the forecast, still with very warm weather pattern, going to be 70s as far north as North Dakota Sunday and Monday. That will begin to turn, but fairly hot weather with temperatures up around 90 degrees or at least well into the 80s from Missouri down through Texas and along the Gulf Coast. But at the same time, starting to see more sub-freezing weather drop down into at least where we can see it in through northern parts of Canada, and the Rockies are beginning to get cold. Note in this pattern, there is a low pressure system, southwest flow in the Great Plains. This is a type of pattern that tends to bring weather systems moving out of the southern Rockies and out across the plains, and that is one that will bring moisture. Can bring strong storms, don't see any huge precip makers yet, but I do see a, a bend toward getting some rainier and perhaps snowier weather into parts of the Great Plains. Meanwhile, as we look at the temperature pattern this week, the warmth in the south will gradually be scrunched. The cooler weather will begin to drop down and uh, at least where we can see it. And by the weekend, I think we will be consistently cool. And by that, I mean a lot of weather in the 40s uh, under the light blue and 30s and colder where it's the dark blue. And that will gradually drop further and further south. So we are starting to see a little bit of a pattern shift as cooler weather comes down. Also this, the dry areas, southwest and northeast, middle of the country, will be getting some rain opportunities, snow in the Rocky Mountains and western Canada. And for the second week, it still looks fairly wet in the Great Plains. And we may even see some of that snow in early November come out of the mountains. Won't spread over all the Midwest just yet, though. For home delivery of AgWeek, log on to agweek.com or call 800-811-2580. When it comes to grain storage and handling solutions, one call does it all. Gateway Building Systems is one of the largest Brock bin dealers in the U.S. Our expert team is dedicated to creating a customized plan for your future success. Expanding your operation has never been easier with our range of Brock solid bins, grain dryers, conveyors, and more. As your trusted partner, we are committed to serving the needs of farmers. Take the first step toward success and call Gateway Building Systems today. Are Peterson Farm Seed Reps real-life seed heroes? Well, they've been known to go the extra mile, literally thousands of extra miles every year. And when they're not driving gravel roads, they're out walking fields and sampling soil. When time is the enemy, they're there to save what's left of the day. Are all Peterson Farm Seed Reps seed heroes? I guess that's a yes. Peterson Farm Seed, we're that kind of seed company. Integrity, excellence, teamwork. At Titan Machinery, we take care of our team. Whether you are an experienced technician or looking to start your career, Titan has a spot for you. Earn a competitive pay with the potential to make in excess of six figures. Service techs, come grow with a company that invests in you. Titan Machinery offers company HSA and 401k contributions, free single healthcare and a generous tool allowance. Plus, we'll provide all of your uniform and safety gear. Apply today at titanmachinery.com slash careers. There's no easy button, no guarantees, or promises of a good year. This is farming. It's unpredictable and demanding with long days and sometimes stressful nights. It's weathering the storms and coming out successful. Farming isn't for everyone. We thank those who make it their life because it is for everyone. We offer the full lineup of brand products. Big ones are going to be your conveyors, your land rollers, grain carts, high-speed discs. Those are going to be the very popular ones that we see out in the countryside and we like to have on hand here at all times. 
Brand does a really good job of supporting the products and providing the, the parts on time and when you need them. For a full line of Brandt products, give us a call at 701-361-4790 or visit our website at northstar-ag.com. Sugar Beet Harvest is wrapping up in the Red River Valley. I traveled to Drayton, North Dakota and met with Severin Anderson to follow up on Erickson Custom Operations Crop Tour we attended in mid-July and to see how his sugar beet harvest had been going and to talk about aqua yield calcine purple cow products he used in his acres to achieve a successful year in 2024. Hopefully we'll get good weather and, and continue on to, to get the harvest wrapped up before we get any rain or snow. Severin Anderson farms in Drayton, North Dakota. His family has a long and storied history with the sugar beet industry. My family has actually farmed uh, for five generations here before American Crystal even uh, was a co-op, before there was even a factory at uh, Drayton District where my great-grandpa and grandma had to haul the sugar beets into the rail car yard in Drayton and they shipped them down to Moorhead where they were processed. So, Though weather can be an issue, Severn was able to get his sugar beet fields planted in a timely fashion. We were able to get going and... and uh, the end of April, which is uh, always tough up here when we're dealing with floods, so we were able to get in early and, and uh, be able to use the uh, ECO products. The calcine was able to get the beets out of the ground quicker, and uh, all their nanotechnology was able to help increase the sugar, increase the tons. We've used the biologicals from Purple Cow, which have helped the soil health tremendously, and we're going to be able to have uh, sugar that's going to be a point or two ahead of the company, which is the main driver of how we get paid. As for this year's sugar beets, Severn is pleased with what is being harvested out of his fields. He believes the ECO products from Jim and Darcy Erickson he used on his acres helped the crop tremendously. This is the fourth year now since uh, I met Jim and Darcy and, and we've started to use uh, their products on our farm. We've kind of been mirroring the way that American Crystal is growing in the last couple of years where five years ago a, a 25 ton crop was good and this year we're going to be pushing 32, 33 tons as a company and like I say I think we'll be close to an average of 40 on our farm and a lot of that is due to what we've done with Jim and Darcy there. But Severin isn't the only one now using ECO products in their fields. We've had a lot of neighbors and friends who've come by and asked what we're doing and are working with Jim and Darcy now too. And uh, we're happy with how it's going. We hope to get good weather and wrap up harvest here in a couple days. For more information about Erickson Custom Operations, please visit the website or contact the number listed on your screen. Up next on Ag Week TV, a Minnesota farm offers up some funky pumpkins. Storage Pros and MinDAC Containers are your premier suppliers of shipping containers, servicing all of North Dakota and Minnesota. From 10 to 53 feet, new and used units, we have your storage solution. Pick up your unit or have it delivered. Call Mike or Jake today. We started with a raw piece of ground out here and we put in bins and then we started coming in with the leg and dryer system and threw in a pit. The process with working with them has been very simple. It was a one-stop shop. Go there, we came up with a plan together and they have been executing it flawlessly. I'm Brian Hoffman and I highly recommend using Advanced Green out of Mayville, North Dakota. Add more bushels to your hopper and money to your pocket by harnessing the power of air with Crary Wind Systems. Whether your beans are chest high or barely off the ground, Crary offers two solutions that add a constant stream of high velocity air to quickly feed crop back to the auger, eliminating bunching, reducing shatter loss, and increasing your ground speed. Don't let crop conditions dictate your yield. Check out the Crary Air Reel or Crary Wind System today. Are Peterson Farm Seed Reps real-life seed heroes? Well, they've been known to go the extra mile, literally thousands of extra miles every year. And when they're not driving gravel roads, they're out walking fields and sampling soil. When time is the enemy, they're there to save what's left of the day. Are all Peterson Farm Seed Reps seed heroes? I guess that's a yes. Peterson Farm Seed, we're that kind of seed company. When it comes to grain storage and handling solutions, one call does it all. Gateway Building Systems is one of the largest Brock bin dealers in the U.S. Our expert team is dedicated to creating a customized plan for your future success. Expanding your operation has never been easier with our range of Brock solid bins, grain dryers, conveyors, and more. 
As your trusted partner, we are committed to serving the needs of farmers. Take the first step toward success and call Gateway Building Systems today. Storage Pros and MinDAC Containers are your premier suppliers of shipping containers, servicing all of North Dakota and Minnesota. From 10 to 53 feet, new and used units, we have your storage solution. Pick up your unit or have it delivered. Call Mike or Jake today. It's the time of year when fall festivities are in full swing. I traveled to Mother Goose and Beans in Earhart, Minnesota, where they're offering fall fun for the whole family. So it started with a trip I took with my sister and my mom to Wisconsin about this time of the year. Becca Dillon didn't expect to find inspiration for a new business venture when on a girl's trip, but she did. I had so many different kinds of pumpkins that I had never seen before, and it was just inspiring. I thought, we don't have anything like that here. We have the plain pumpkins, the orange, the, the, the jack-o'-lanterns, the, maybe the minis, but there are so many more varieties out there. So that's what inspired the, the whole idea. And I thought we can bring this, you know, to our county. So in 2014, the Dillons started growing and selling unique pumpkin varieties in their backyard and named their business Mother Goose and Beans. The name comes from me, Mother. Goose and Beans is the nicknames that we used for our twin daughters. So that's why I like the punctuation in it. It's three different people. I actually built a, like a one row of planters so I can drive a tractor. My wife and kids sit on this planter and they drop the seeds in and, and go from there. Becca's husband, Pat Dillon, is a farmer and grows corn and soybeans. He has seen a definite correlation between growing pumpkins and more traditional crops like nutrients like everything else and if we have a good year on the farm it, it definitely shows in the pumpkins also and weed pressure if you keep them clean they do a lot better. Besides pumpkins mother goose and beans has a nine acre corn maze photo ops homemade kettle corn and more. They open up their farmyard to families each fall to come out and enjoy and they even host field trips and fundraisers too. Uh, it gets a little hectic at times, but I always say we ought to have to have something to do when other people are sleeping. <laughs> look around the yard and I see families, be it taking pictures, uh, picking out pumpkins, even the kid that's melting down, whatever it might be, um, people sitting and enjoying the music, um, just conversing with one another, people running into each other. I love watching that this has become a tradition for these people. Stories you'll only see on agweek.com and in Agweek magazine this week. Renewing the countryside's Upper Midwest Farmland Access Hub has received $750,000 in federal funds to improve farmland access outcomes for beginning farmers in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. And as South Dakotans prepare to head to the ballot in November, agriculture groups around the state are sharing their message on Referred Law 21, the Carbon Pipeline Bill. We appreciate you watching AgWeek TV. Remember to check us out daily on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok to keep up on all your ag news. Have a wonderful week, everyone.